and Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts at Lucy's house. Lucy's Elf and Fairy Party. <laughs> it's fun playing cards with you, Ben and Holly. Yes, we love coming to your house. It's my birthday soon and you can come to my party. That sounds brilliant. You could have a fairy party. Or an elf party. Yes, an elf and fairy party. And all my friends can come dressed up. I could do some party magic. Ooh, yes, please. Lucy, lunchtime. Better hide. Dad can be a bit funny about you two. Mum, Dad, I've decided to have an elf and fairy party for my birthday. That's nice, Lucy. And I've invited Ben Elf and Fairy Princess Holly. Now, Lucy, we've been through this. Elves and fairies aren't really real. Hello, Lucy's dad. Uh -huh. Hello there. We are real. Uh, but, but we can't have real elves and fairies at Lucy's birthday party. Why not? Dad. There'll be lots of other children, and they're not used to seeing real elves and fairies. We understand. Yes. See you later, Lucy. Bye. Bye. Holly was going to do some magic at my party. Well, I can do some magic tricks. Watch. Here's a coin. Now it's gone. Oh, what's this behind your ear? <laughs> Magic show at my party? Of course I will. Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. Hi, everyone. Lucy's having an elf and fairy party. Great! I've always wanted to go to a big kids' party. Me too. What shall we wear? What we always wear. After all, we are elves and fairies. Oh. <laughs> The thing, real elves and fairies aren't invited. It's just a lot of big children dressed up as elves and fairies. Oh. 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 Lucy, what's the matter? Oh, Mum, I really wanted Ben and Holly to come to my party. Well, I think they can. Just keep them out of sight and away from your dad. Great. Thanks, Mum. I'll go and tell them. As long as it's only Ben and Holly. Ben! Holly! Mum says you can come to the party after all. Hooray! Hooray. Thanks, Thanks, Lucy. Lucy. We can do magic. And play party games. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, it was only supposed to be Ben and Holly. So, you don't want us to come? Of course I do. You can all come. I'm sure it will be fine. Hooray! As long as you promise to stay out of sight and away from my dad. We, we promise. Let's put your wings on. <laughs> now you look like a real fairy princess. Lucy, all your friends are here. Oh, goody. Happy birthday, Lucy. <laughs> I like your fairy wings. I like your elf ears. I made them myself. <laughs> Here's a balloon each. Hold tight or they'll fly away. <laughs> Have fun. I'll be back to pick you up after the party. <laughs> I think the coast is clear. Have fun. I'll be back to pick you up after the party. Hello! My goodness, you've all come. Um, welcome. Here's a balloon. Hold on tight or it'll fly away. Whoa! Quick, grab him! Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> Look at all the lovely party food. Ooh! There's the birthday cake. <laughs> Gaston's going to eat the cake. No, Gaston. Bad, Ladybird. <coughs> That's for later. Come on, everyone. Party time. <laughs> Let's get started with a bit of a boogie. Yeah, 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 yeah. I wish we with the yeah, big yeah, children. Yeah, yeah, we yeah, promise yeah, to keep yeah, out of sight. Yeah, I can't yeah, help it. Yeah, I have to yeah, boogie. Yeah, yeah. No, Barnaby. Come back. Boogie, boogie, boogie. They're going to see him. Music. 
magical statues. When the music stops, everyone freeze. Katie, you moved. I nearly stepped on this toy. Look. Oh, I'll just pop the toy over here with the rest of the toys. What are you doing, Barnaby? Sorry, Lucy's mom. Barnaby, we're supposed to stay here. But I love to boogie. Now, Lucy's dad is going to do some magic tricks. Hooray! Oh, goody. I love magic. It won't be real magic, just magic tricks. What are magic tricks? You'll see. Hello, and welcome to the magic show. Ooh! You see? That's a magic trick. It's a trick wand. That was really good. My dad's been practicing. And now, I will make a rabbit come out of my hat. Hey, presto. <laughs> it's Flopsy, my pet rabbit. Dad must have borrowed him. Do it again. Yes, do it again. Uh, I can't. Lucy only has one rabbit. Oh, maybe he needs a bit of help. No strawberries. Rabbit, rabbit, rabbit. Oh, another rabbit. Ooh. Rabbity, rabbity, rabbity. And another rabbit. And another, and another, and another. Tweety and birds, another. tweety birds. Oh. My birds, where did they come from? Out of your hat. Stop it, Strawberry. But he hasn't done magic jelly yet. It's not a party about magic jelly. Ah, good. There's no more animals in the hat. Magic jelly. Ah, jelly! It's a jelly flood. <laughs> jelly flood. <laughs> Sounds like the children are having fun. Yeah, yeah. We've got sandwiches, cake and jelly. Oh, I see you already have some jelly. Yes, it just sort of appeared magically. <laughs> Where's Gaston? Oh, no, the birthday cake. <laughs> there he is. Naughty Gaston, come here. Well, well. He's stuck in the icing. Don't worry, Gaston. We'll rescue you. Oh, now I'm stuck. Ah, uh -huh. I'm stuck as well. I'm stuck too. <gasps> Time for the cake. Keep still. Pretend to be toys. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Lucy. <laughs> now, Lucy, blow out the candles. It might get a bit spitty when she blows the candles out. Don't tell her to blow them all out in one go. Remember to blow them all out in one go. <gasps> <sighs> ah! Don't forget to make a wish. I want a pink unicorn. Strawberry? No. Pink unicorn. Da! Wow, a pink unicorn. <laughs> My wish came true. That's amazing. Uh, right, everyone. Home time. <laughs> Don't forget your party bags. Hello, Yasmin. Did you have a nice time? Yes. Lucy's dad did magic. He's awesome. What are you looking like that for? All right. Out you come. All of you. I thought I made it clear there were to be no real elves and fairies at the party. But as soon as my back is turned, you invite every elf and fairy in the world. <gasps> Where's Jake? He's missing. He must have fallen into a party bag. <sighs> All right, don't panic. Just wait here. Ooh, what's this? Yum! I love cake! Oh, I think Lucy lost one of her toys. Ah, there it is. Thanks, Lucy's dad. Your magic show was great. Yes, everyone said so. Oh, did they? This was my best party ever. I'm glad you had fun, Lucy. And no one really saw your, your little friends. So I suppose everything turned out all right. <laughs> Back to normal, eh? Yes, except for the unicorn. 
Oh, yes, the, the unicorn. I forgot about that. Don't worry, Dad. We can just keep it in the barn with the cows. <laughs> ben and Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts at the Little Castle. Planet Bong. <laughs> It is I, Zyros, from Planet Bong. Oh, hello, Zyros. Nice to see you again. What's all this noise? Is it an alien invasion? No, it's our friend Zyros from Planet Bong. We have come for help from the Wise One. The Wise One? That must be me. No, dear. I think he means the wise old elf. Oh, yes. Smarty Pants. He lives at the Great Elf Tree over there. Thank you. We will go and look for Smarty Pants. It's Cyrus, the alien. Hello. Hello, Elf Ben. We are looking for the one they call Smarty Pants. He must mean the wise old elf. Did someone say my name? Goodness me, alien! <gasps> we need your help, Smarty Pants. Well, of course. Anything I can do. Is it true you can solve any problem? Yes, I can solve any problem. Good. We have a big problem. Once upon a time, our home planet was a wonderful planet. It was covered in plants and all was good. There was everything we needed, and we were surrounded by beautiful flowers. We worked happily in our factories, and everything was fine. It sounds very nice. Yes, it was. But now it is very hot, and the plants do not grow anymore. Oh, that's a shame. So we want you to bring all the plants back to life and make Planet Bong nice again like it was before. Uh, that sounds a bit difficult. But can't you use your magic? Magic? Elves don't do magic. And I'm an elf. So you cannot help us. You are not Smarty Pants. Yes, I am Smarty Pants. And I will save your planet with uh, the, uh, the magic. But wise old elf. Elves don't do magic. Shh. Don't worry about it, Ben. Good. We go now. This will be an elf expedition to save Planet Bong. Uh, I'll just need to stop on the way to collect a friend. For goodness sake, what is it now? We have found Smarty Pants. Here I am. How do I get down? Is there a ladder? I am afraid we do not have this ladder you speak of. Merely a primitive tronic beam. But what do you want? It's the middle of the night. We're going to Planet Bong. It's very hot there. Ah, a holiday. I love holidays. I'll come too. Holiday, holiday. Yes, and I have a job to do there, which may require the services of a fairy helper. I can help. I'm good at helping. I need a sensible fairy. That's me. A fairy who does magic in a responsible, grown-up way. It's almost like you've said my name. Oh, very well. If we're going on holiday, we'll need to pack some things. No, no, no. It's not a holiday. Whatever. Let's see. What do we need for a holiday? Swimming costumes and towels? We'll need sunscreen. Sunscreen. Buckets and spades. Buckets and spades. Picnic basket. Beach ball. First aid kit. Cooker. Deck chairs. She's bringing everything but the kitchen sink. Oh, I nearly forgot. Thank you, wise old girl. Kitchen sink. Wow, you got all that into your bag. Yes, it's my magic bag. Here we 
come. Um, it's not really a holiday. We must leave. Hold tight, everyone. It can be bumpy. What do you mean, bumpy? Ah! Why are we floating? There is no gravity in space. Nothing to hold you down. Sorry, I forgot to turn on the ship's gravity motor. <laughs> oh! <gasps> Look at all the pretty sparkly lights. Behold the wondrous science of an alien race. Where's the toilet? We do not go to the toilet. Incredible! Being so advanced, they have stopped needing to go to the toilet. No toilet? But what if I want to go? You should have gone before we set off. Maybe there'll be toilets at the beach. Is there a beach on Planet Bong? Planet Bong is all beach. Wow! All beach! Yes, it is very hot and sunny. Would anyone like a snack? Yes, please. This machine can make any food or drink you like. Can it make orange juice? Yes. Mmm, delicious. Can it make a jam and peanut butter and banana sandwich? Yes. Amazing. Can it make jelly? No. It can make anything in the universe, but not jelly, which is a shame because I like jelly. Jelly? I can do jelly. Nanny! Nanny. What? A little bit of jelly never did anyone any harm. Magic jelly, please. Oh, it is a bit small. I would like lots of jelly. OK. Magic jelly. Lots, lots, lots! Jelly flood! <laughs> a jelly flood inside a pressurized spacecraft. Nanny, you have surpassed yourself. Thank you, wise old elf. Mmm, <laughs> magic jelly is very tasty. <laughs> <gasps> what was that? We're slowing down. The engine is stopped. Why? I'll tell you why. It's full of magic jelly. Oh. Drifting in deep space. We're stuck here forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. We are not stuck here forever. Aren't we? No. We have Smarty Pants. He can fix the engine. Well, uh... I will open the engine. Now, Smarty Pants, outside and fix the engine. Uh, I'd love to, but I can't go outside. I don't have a spacesuit. A spacesuit? Oh, hang on. I think I packed one in my magic bag. Here you are. Uh, thank you, Nanny. This looks a bit like plumbing. Elves are good at plumbing, and I'm an elf. <laughs> oh. Hello there. What are you doing here? I'm the fairy helper, remember? Well, don't touch anything. This is advanced alien technology capable of travelling across the universe at the speed of light. Although, it is very like plumbing. Maybe if I give it a kick. <laughs> Why don't you just give it a push? Give it a push? This technological miracle? You just gave it a kick. Oh, uh, OK. Let's give it a push. It's just like getting a car to start. OK, Mr Zyros, give it a bit of gas. OK. Push! <laughs> Nothing. More gas. OK. Whoa! It worked! They went off like a, a rocket. Next stop, Planet Bomb! Hey! Hey! Come back! They've left us! That's outrageous! 
Help! 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 Will Nanny Plum and the wise old elf be lost in space forever? Find out next time in Planet Bong, Episode 2. Ben and Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts at the Little Castle. Queen Thistle's Day Off. Da da do, dum da dee do. Da 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 da. I'm going to visit my sister today. Will you be all right on your own? Yes, Mummy. I'll be okay. Don't worry, Queen Thistle. We'll be fine. Yes, darling. We'll all be fine. You'll be fine. But what about Daisy and Poppy? They need looking after. Oh, Daisy and Poppy. <laughs> <laughs> but, Mummy, when you're not here, the twins are always so naughty. <laughs> Magicy, Magicy. Uh, yes, they can be quite a handful. <laughs> what a lot of fuss about two tiny children. Just let them play. But don't let them do any magic. Right. Yes, yes Queen, Queen Thistle. Thistle. And read them a story before they go to bed. Yes. yes. Very well. Goodbye, everyone. Have fun. Bye. 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 So what are we going to do? Mummy's the only one who can handle the twins. Don't worry. Nanny will know what to do. Um, I think I've got some important things to do in the kitchen. But Nanny... Aren't you going to help us look after the twins? I'm sure you, Ben and King Thistle can manage. Right. We just need to keep the twins busy. <laughs> I know. Let's play a game with them. It has to be something safe. What about building blocks? That can't go too wrong. OK. <laughs> Watch Daddy build a big tower. Magic me a tower and make it big. Ooh. Big, big. <gasps> Mummy said not to let the twins do magic. Oh, oh, don't worry, Holly. It's easy to make blocks little again. Little, little. There, you see, Holly. Little, little. Ah, uh, Daisy. Poppy, give Daddy your wands. Little, little. Help! Wow, they've made King Thistle really small. Daisy, Poppy, that wasn't funny or clever. Little, 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 little. Ah, they've made us little. Don't worry, I'll magic us back to normal size. I just need my wand. My wand's too heavy. I can't lift it. Maybe we should call Nanny Plum. Good idea, Ben. I'll ring the bell. Da da dum, do da di da, da la la di da 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 da. We need to pull harder. Di da di. Oh, I wonder what they want. Typical. They ring for me and then they wander off somewhere. Nanny Plum! Eh? We're here! <gasps> Why are you so tiny? Um, Daisy and Poppy did a spell on us. Honestly, it's not hard to look after Daisy and Poppy. You just have to play with them. We tried that, Nanny Plum. But it went a bit wrong. What Daisy and Poppy like most is their baby dolly. Now, where is it? Boo! Oh, Daisy and Poppy. Where have you put your baby dolly? Baby, baby dolly. dolly! Baby dolly! Hello, I'm Baby Plum. Baby Plum is lots of fun. Change my nappy, please. <laughs> oh, no! They've changed Nanny into a doll. Baby Plum, it's lots of fun. Feed me, please. <laughs> what are we going to do? We need to get help. Let's call my mum. She'll know what to do. Good thinking, Ben. 
Hello, Mrs. Elf speaking. Mum, it's me, Ben. Oh, Ben, you sound different. Yes, we need a bit of help. Please come quick. Right o. She's on her way. Thank goodness. I wonder what the matter can be. <laughs> Baby Plum is lots of fun. Bath me, please. <laughs> Hello, Daisy. Hello, Poppy. Can you tell me where the big children are? We're down here. <gasps> Daisy and Poppy put a spill on us, and we need a bit of help. Your Majesty. <laughs> we do seem to have got ourselves in a bit of a pickle. Uh, yes, the twins are a little high spirited today. Could you calm them down, please? Of course. Now, now, Daisy and Poppy, I'm sure you're not meant to fly so high. <laughs> fly so high. Fly so high. <laughs> <laughs> now, girls, put me down this instant. Poor Mrs. Elf. Elves don't like flying. Looks like we need even more help. I'll call for more elves. Hello, Mr. Elf speaking. Mr. Elf, we've got an emergency at the little castle. Bring the elves. Bring all the elves! Right ho! Calling all elves! Emergency at the little castle! Right ho! If there's a problem, what do we say? Call an elf right away! And what are we? We're elves! Baby Plum! It's so fun. The elves are here. What's the emergency? It's the twins. Is that you, Mrs. Elf? Where are you? Uh, up here, Mr. Elf. Goodness me, Mrs. Elf. I thought you were invisible. <laughs> invisible. Oh, no. The twins have made all the elves invisible. Uh, who's going to help us now? Quiet in the castle. I hope everything's all right. <sighs> Hello, my little ones. Mummy, mummy. My goodness, you look tired. Have you been playing with Holly, Ben, and Daddy all day? Yes, mummy. Uh, where is Daddy? Glad you're home, darling. <gasps> Have you had a nice day? Why are you so tiny? Daisy and Puppy have been a bit naughty. They've made us little. I see. And where is Nanny Plum? Uh, she's been turned into that doll. Press her tummy. Baby Plum, it's lots of fun. Change my nappy, please. I see. My mum tried to help, but that didn't work out too well either. And where is your mum? Up here, Your Majesty. <gasps> I'm afraid the twins have done something to all the other elves too. What other elves? Where are they? We're here, Your Majesty. We're invisible. Right. And all this is Daisy and Poppy's doing? Yes. OK. Let's put everything right again. Make this magic all undone. Good evening, Your Majesty. So, are you telling me that I've gone away for just one day and the whole kingdom couldn't look after two little children? Uh, yes. 
We tried our best, Mummy. But the twins really are a bit of a handful. <laughs> <laughs> Thinking about it, they weren't that bad. It was rather fun, really. <laughs> yes. I'm sure if you went away again, Queen Thistle, we'd manage just fine. That's good, because I'm going to visit my sister again next week. <gasps> no! <laughs> Today's adventure starts at the Little Castle. Nature class! Let's check you're all here. Holly, Violet, Rosie and Strawberry. Good. Now hold hands. I don't want to lose any of you in the woods. Ugh. Nanny Plum, do we have to do nature class today? It's boring. Yes. All we do is learn the names of trees. And mushrooms. And frogs. Now, now, girls. Every young fairy needs to know the names of trees and mushrooms. And frogs. And frogs. Up ahead is a lovely example of a mugwort flower. <sighs> ben, Barnaby, Jake and Lizzie. Good. Today we are having nature class. Follow me. Excuse me, wise old elf. Why do we have to do nature class? Because, Ben, it's important that every young elf learns about nature. <sighs> Who can tell me what this is? Um, uh, uh, is it a sort of plant? A wilted thistle is the correct answer. Oh. Now, what's the name of this flower? Oh, we seem to have walked into some elves. Good day, Nanny Plum. Hello, wise old elf. Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. We're doing nature class. So are we. Let's team up. Yes! <laughs> I'm not sure about this. Quite so. Elf and fairy nature classes are very, very different. We're learning names of plants and things. So are we. Please, Nanny Plum, can we have one big class? Please, Mr Wise Old Elf. Oh, very well. I suppose I can handle a few more children. What? Wise Old Elf, there's no need for you to hang around. But, but... You can collect your children when my lesson's over. No doubt there's some charming fairy name for this plant, but my class has identified it correctly as a welted thistle. Oh, isn't it Harry Bittercress? Oh, interesting. Or Harry Bogweed. You both know the silly plant names. So you should both take the class. Hmm, on one condition. No magic. I'm doing nature class today, not magic class. So, it's agreed. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Look. Ah, an acorn. Now, what does an acorn grow into? Is the answer an oak tree? I was asking the children. Yes, yes, but an oak tree is the right answer. What the wise old elf is trying to say is that this little acorn will grow into a huge oak tree. Ooh! Cool! Can we see it grow now? Oh, ho, ho. it will take years and years to grow into a tree. Oh. We could give it some magical help. Nanny Palum, we agreed. No magic. But look at the children's sad little faces. They'd so like to see the acorn grow into a tree. No. Please, Nanny Plum, make the acorn grow into a tree. Yes, yes please, Nanny Plum. I'd love to, but it's up to the wise old elf. Please, wise old elf. Oh, very well. I'll just do a little spell. Stand back, 
children? Just a small tree, please. Yes, yes. Thunder and lightning, north winds blow. Little acorn grow, grow, grow! Nanny Palum, is that your idea of a small tree? Um, it is big, isn't it? But I can easily make it smaller. No, no, it's fine as it is. Let's move on. Next up, mushrooms. Ah, oh, good. Mushrooms. Who can tell me what this is? A toadstool. Uh, yes. Correct. Now, you should never ever eat a toadstool. It would make you very... What Mr. Old Elf is trying to say is that you should never ever eat a toadstool. It would make you very sick. Indeed. So, never ever eat a toadstool. Yes, wise old elf. Of course, I expect the wise old elf would like to sit on it. What? Elves love sitting on toadstools. Madam, I think you will find it is gnomes that sit on toadstools. Elves, gnomes, whatever. You would never catch an elf sitting on a toadstool. Hello, everyone. Hello, Dad. Hello, Mr. Elf. Hello, Holly. I see you've found my special reading place. Ah, it just catches the sun at this time of day. Uh, <clears throat> yes. Uh, here we have a toadstool. With an elf on top. Um, yes, with an elf on top. He looks very happy. Uh, right, let's move on. Yes, we have time for one last thing. Goodbye, Goodbye Mr. Elf. Bye. What do you think the last thing is? I bet it's frogs. Nanny always shows us frogs. Yes, it'll be frogs. Who can guess what we're going to see next? <sighs> frogs. Yes, we're going to look at frogs. Um, uh, there aren't any frogs here. Not one frog. Well, that's disappointing. Can we go home now? It's no problem. I'll turn one of us into a frog. Can I have a volunteer, please? Come on. Who wants to be a frog? Goodness, what a lot of miseries. I'll just have to do it myself. Zigzag Zog, make me into a frog. Wow! <coughs> a common frog. Look how slimy it is. <laughs> and how smelly it is. And how silly it sounds. Well, that brings today's nature class to a most satisfactory close. Uh, uh, Nanny Plum, you can turn yourself back now. I don't think Nanny Plum can turn herself back again. She can't pick up her wand. Oh, what a shame. Now, for your homework... But Nanny Plum... We can't leave her as a frog. Can't we? Oh, I suppose not. Uh, which fairy wants to turn her back again? Me, 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 me! All right. Holly, do your best. Um, I'm not sure what spell to use. I'm sure Nanny Plum would want you to just have a go anyway. OK, I'll try this. Abracazari! Um, frog to fairy. Oh, it works. Oh, thank you, Holly. Oops. Sorry, Nanny. You did very well, Holly. But you shook your wand a bit too hard. Africa fairy, frog to fairy. Hooray! You see, children? It's all in the wand control. Yes, Nanny Plum. Fascinating, Mistress Plum. But if we might return to nature class for a... Yes, children. What Mr. Old Elf is trying to say is that... That brings today's nature class...
to a close. That was the bestest ever nature class. Thank you, Strawberry. It was excellently cool. Thank you, Barnaby. So, from now on, Nanny Plum and the wise old elf always teach us nature class together. Uh, all right. <laughs> oh, if you insist. Hooray! <laughs> ben and Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts at the Little Castle. Planet Bong! Wow! A flying saucer! Hello, Holly! It is I, Zyros, from Planet Bong! Oh, hello, Zyros! Nice to see you again! What's all this noise? Is it an alien invasion? No, it's our friend Zyros from Planet Bong. We have come for help from the Wise One. The Wise One? That must be me. No, dear. I think he means the Wise Old Elf. Oh, yes. Smarty Pants. He lives at the Great Elf Tree over there. Thank you. We will go and look for Smarty Pants. <laughs> The alien! Hello! Hello, Elf Ben. We are looking for the one they call Smarty Pants. He must mean the wise old elf. Did someone say my name? Goodness me! Alien! <gasps> we need your help, Smarty Pants. Well, of course. Anything I can do. Is it true you can solve any problem? Yes, I can solve any problem. Good. We have a big problem. Once upon a time, our home planet was a wonderful planet. It was covered in plants and all was good. There was everything we needed and we were surrounded by beautiful flowers. We worked happily in our factories and everything was fine. It sounds very nice. Yes, it was. But now it is very hot and the plants do not grow anymore. Oh, that's a shame. So we want you to bring all the plants back to life and make Planet Bong nice again like it was before. Uh, that sounds a bit difficult. But can't you use your magic? Magic? Elves don't do magic. And I'm an elf. So you cannot help us. You are not Smarty Pants. Yes, I am Smarty Pants, and I will save your planet with uh, 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 magic. But wise old elf, elves don't do magic. Shh, don't worry about it, Ben. Good, we go now. This will be an elf expedition to save Planet Bomb. Uh, I'll just need to stop on the way to collect a friend. For goodness sake, what is it now? We have found Smarty Pants. Here I am. How do I get down? Is there a ladder? I am afraid we do not have this ladder you speak of. Merely a primitive tronic beam. But what do you want? It's the middle of the night. We're going to Planet Bong. It's very hot there. Ah, a holiday. I love holidays. I'll come too. Holiday, holiday. Yes, and I have a job to do there, which may require the services of a fairy helper. I can help. I'm good at helping. I need a sensible fairy. That's me. A fairy who does magic in a responsible, grown-up way. It's almost like you've said my name. Oh, very well. If we're going on holiday, we'll need to pack some things. No, no, no. It's not a holiday. Whatever. Let's see. What do we need for a holiday? Swimming costumes and towels? 
We'll need sunscreen. Sunscreen. Buckets and spades. Buckets and spades. Picnic basket. Beach ball. First aid kit. Cooker. Deck chairs. She's bringing everything but the kitchen sink. Oh, I nearly forgot. Thank you, wise old elf. Kitchen sink. Wow, you got all that into your bag. Yes, it's my magic bag. All aboard! Shake stop, planet bong! We're going on holiday in a flying saucer to planet bong. Holiday, here we come. Um, it's not really a holiday. We must leave. Hold tight, everyone. It can be bumpy. What do you mean, bumpy? <laughs> ah! What's happening? Why are we floating? There is no gravity in space. Nothing to hold you down. Sorry, I forgot to turn on the ship's gravity motor. Oh. Oh. <gasps> Look at all the pretty sparkly lights! Behold! The wondrous science of an alien race! Where's the toilet? We do not go to the toilet. Incredible! Being so advanced, they have stopped needing to go to the toilet. No toilet? What if I want to go? You should have gone before we set off. Maybe there'll be toilets at the beach. Is there a beach on Planet Bong? Planet Bong is all beach. Wow! All beach! Yes, it is very hot and sunny. Would anyone like a snack? Yes, please. This machine can make any food or drink you like. Can it make orange juice? Yes. Mmm, delicious. Can it make a jam and peanut butter and banana sandwich? Yes. Amazing. Can it make jelly? No. It can make anything in the universe, but not jelly, which is a shame because I like jelly. Jelly? I can do jelly. Nanny! Nanny. What? A little bit of jelly never did anyone any harm. Magic jelly, please. Oh, it is a bit small. I would like lots of jelly. OK. Magic jelly. Lots, lots, lots! Jelly flood! <laughs> a jelly flood inside a pressurized spacecraft. Nanny, you have surpassed yourself. Thank you, wise old elf. Mmm, magic jelly is very tasty. <laughs> <laughs> What was that? We're slowing down. The engine is stopped. Why? I'll tell you why. It's full of magic jelly. Oh. Drifting in deep space. We're stuck here forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. We are not stuck here forever. Aren't we? No. We have Smarty Pants. He can fix the engine. Well, uh... I will open the engine. <laughs> now, Smarty Pants... ...outside and fix the engine. Uh, I'd love to, but I can't go outside. I don't have a spacesuit. A spacesuit? Oh, hang on. I think I packed one in my magic bag. Here you are. Uh, thank you, Nanny. Hmm, <laughs> this looks a bit like plumbing. Elves are good at plumbing, and I'm an elf. <laughs> oh. Hello there. What are you doing here? I'm the fairy helper, remember? Well, don't touch anything. This is advanced alien technology capable of travelling across the universe at the speed of light. Although, it is very like plumbing. Maybe if I give it a kick. Why don't you just give it a push? Give it a push? This 
technological miracle? You just gave it a kick. Oh, OK. Let's give it a push. It's just like getting a car to start. OK, Mr Zyros, give it a bit of gas. OK. Push! Uh, oh, nothing. More gas. OK. Oh! It worked! They went off like a, a rocket. <laughs> Next stop, Planet Bomb. Hey! Hey, come back! They've left us! That's outrageous! Help! Oh. Help! Will Nanny Plum and the wise old elf be lost in space forever? Find out next time in Planet Bong, Episode 2. Ben and Holly's Little Kingdom. Planet Bong, Episode 2. Help! Help! We're lost in deep space. I can't believe they just left us behind. I hope they turn the spaceship around and come back for us. Yes, otherwise we'll be floating here together for all eternity. How long is eternity? A very, very long time. Oh, well, let's play a game while we're waiting. I spy with my little eye something beginning with S. Stars. Yes, you're good at this. Can I have another go? If you must. I spy with my little eye something beginning with, um, S. Stars. No, space. Ha! <laughs> you see, this is a really good game. This is going to be a very long eternity. Holiday, here we come. Soon we will be at Planet Bong. But what about the wise old elf and nanny? We left them behind. Well, it was nice knowing them. No, Daddy. We have to go back for them. Yes, without Smarty Pants, we cannot make Planet Bong beautiful again. Stars. No. Space. No. Oh, all right. It was stars. Can I have another go? No. <laughs> Wise old elf. Nanny. Saved. We're saved. Saved from an eternity of I Spy. Oh, don't worry. We can carry on on board. There's loads of things. Spaceship. Uh, space suit. Uh. Smarty Pants, when we get to Planet Bong, you will make all the plants grow again. Uh, of course. Listen, Nanny, when we get to Planet Bong, I may need a little bit of help. Yes, I am the fairy helper, and I already helped you mend the flying saucer. Yes, this might be a bit bigger. How bigger? Big! We are here. Planet Bong. Wow! Planet Bong is all sand and hot. The perfect holiday planet. <gasps> We're going into the ground. The great leader of Planet Bong is here to celebrate this special meeting of peoples. Hello! He's tiny! Yes, on Planet Bong, we get smaller as we get older. Hello! Who said that? <laughs> He's down there, Daddy. Oh, hello! Hello! Say hello, everybody. The great leader is very old. It is a fantastic honor for you to meet him. Say hello, Gaston. Hello. <gasps> Gaston's eaten the great leader. Uh. Naughty Gaston. Spit the great leader out. <laughs> <coughs> Terribly sorry. He's not really house trained. Uh, yes. <laughs> As our special guests, we will now welcome you with a song. What a horrible noise! When are they going to start playing the tune? This is our national anthem. And delightful it is, too. So, 
Hi, Ross. Why do you live underground? Once, Planet Bong was covered in plants. Everywhere was green and beautiful, and the people were happy. Then, the plants began to die out. It became too hot to live on the surface, so we moved underground. Everyone lives underground? Yes, even the animals. Animals? <laughs> Worry. It is just a flobber gurgle twat splog. It is a pet. <laughs> oh, the flobber gurgle twat splog is so cute. <laughs> Mummy, can we take the flobber gurgle twat splog back home with us, please? I think it is much happier living here, darling. Oh. Um, when do we go to the beach? Now, we will take the lift. Lovely big beach. But where's the sea? There is no sea. So where can we swim? Nowhere. There is no water. Not for swimming, not for drinking, not for anything. Nothing but sand. Yes, just sand and sand and sand and sand and sand. Yes, Planet Bong is sand and sand and sand. Planet Bong is doomed! So, this isn't a holiday? No, it's a rescue mission, Your Majesty. Yes, Smarty Pants is here to save us. Please, Smarty Pants. Make the plants grow? Uh, yes. I've given this problem a lot of thought, and I believe that I, Smarty Pants, have the answer. Good. So, without further ado, I will hand over to my fairy helper. Me? Yes. Just magic the plants up, would you? Oh, right. <laughs> It is very excellent. Thank you. My pleasure. Now, please do the rest of the planet. What? The whole planet? Yes. But I'm Nanny Plum, not an interplanetary terraforming bioengineer. Do you mean this is it? Yes. Plants aren't easy to do. Lots of fiddly bits. Oh. So, Smarty Pants, you cannot save us after all. Uh, well, no. Thank you for trying. So, Planet Bong will never again have lots of plants and be beautiful once more? No. Wait a minute. Plants need water to grow. Yes. And if you had lots of water, you could have lots of plants. Yes. So, we just need to make it rain. I can do that. Rain's much easier to make than plants. It's just water. Then, please, make it rain. Magic wand on Planet Bong. Make it rain loud and strong. Nothing is happening. Did the magic work? Yes, it worked. Look up. Clouds. Yes, and lots of them. And clouds mean... innocent, unspoiled world of nature, gentle and beautiful in its loveliness. Yes. Right, lads, back to work! What's happening? We are starting up our factories again. Are they supposed to make all that smoke? Yes. They always do that. 
How lovely. And now you can have your holiday. Uh, you know what? I think we'll just go home. Very well. I will take you home. <laughs> Next stop, Planet Earth. You are home. Thank you again, Smarty Pants. Oh, it was nothing. For you, maybe. I magicked up a whole planet's worth of rain. To honour our alien guests, the Elf Band will now play a tune. Uh, are you sure that's a good idea? Oompa, 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 what beautiful music! Is this your national anthem? Ah, uh, who knows? It could be. It is wonderful. And now I must return to planet. 